A friend made this t-shirt for me. Isn't it awesome? Box monkey, ukulele dealer. Hey friends, this and this are what I call gizmo ukuleles. Basically, that means I take a normal four string ukulele and add tuning pegs onto it to make it into an eight string ukulele. So you might have seen my other video where I explain in detail how to make this one into an eight string ukulele and you have all the instructions uh, so if you want to make it yourself in the video uh, in the link right here. Now I've made the same gizmo mod on this Makala Dolphin ukulele, which is my very first ukulele and one of the cheapest ukuleles you can find. Uh, it costs about 30 bucks. And I'm actually really happy with the sound of it. I prefer the sound completely to this Bugs Gear plastic ukulele. So the Bugs Gear plastic ukulele is entirely made of plastic. The uh, Makala Dolphin ukulele is, only part of it is made of plastic actually. I'm so happy with it. It's great. It sounds more authentic a little bit and having eight strings gives it a much richer sound than it did before so now you might actually prefer the sound of the bugs gear maybe it's a little bit more snappy uh, whereas this one has a more rounded sound and uh, I prefer this one and I think this one's the one that I'll use now as my main ukulele even though it's the cheapest of all but you can judge for yourself in the little clips that I made for you now This is not only a message of hope, it's a message of truth, of prosperity, and of understanding. To make a better tomorrow by building a better yesterday, and somehow jacking off today, however that goes. Sorry, I stole that from Lake 182. And by the way, that nice little melody is by a great band called The Death Cab for Cutie. If you were wondering, the body of the Makala dolphin is made of plastic, but the head is made of wood. To know exactly where to drill holes, I print out and cut out this sheet and tape it onto the head. You can download this sheet as a PDF file just under the video. And after having put the tuning pegs on. Now there are two little differences between the way that I made this Makala dolphin into an 8 string gizmo ukulele and the other video where I make my Bugs Gear plastic ukulele into an 8 string ukulele. The first one is that on this one, these two holes are a little bit tough to make, so uh, in the end I found that the easiest was to use a file like this, a round file, and just widen the original hole upwards instead of using the 9.5mm drill. The other difference is that this one is made of wood, so I put some oil inside it before putting the tuning pegs on for the final time so that it nourishes the oil and makes it a little bit more waterproof. And that means I have to wait until tomorrow so that the oil is dry and I can finally play it. Ah!
Here's the bottom with the dolphin and the eight strings. Here is the top. Here is the back. You don't need this, this is just something that I added so that you can lay it down on the floor without damaging or without untuning it like this. And this is what it looks like without the special wine bottle protection. String configuration. There are many ways you could configure this because you have A strings and so many possibilities. One way is you could just buy two packs of normal ukulele strings and put them. It'll sound a little bit louder, it'll sound a little bit like a mandolin, you know, with double strings. Uh, but what I prefer, what I found made the best sound was use charango strings to make an octave above. You get low G, high G, C, the high C, low C. And that way you get the octave every time, you get a very rich sound. And these Django strings are actually not about the same price as ukulele strings. Aquila Super Naga strings for the low ones and Charango, Aquila Charango strings for the high ones. And definitely put high pitched, then low pitched, not the other way around. I've been using the other way around for most of the time actually, and it buzzes a little bit, it, the sound isn't as nice. I've just found out that this is actually a much nicer sound. It's great, I'm really happy. I get good sounding 8 string ukulele. The Makala Dolphin uses a sort of plastic for this piece that's a little bit rough. It's not this smooth plastic like you get on here, which might be part of what makes it have a nicer, a little more woody sound. So I would like to see Bugs Gear uh, make a ukulele with less smooth plastic, maybe make the texture on the inside a little bit rougher. And the weight difference, the Makala Dolphin ukulele is a little bit lighter than the Bugs Gear ukulele. I hope this video helped you out. If you want to see other videos like this, you can check out my other videos or subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button just under. And I hope to see you again in upcoming videos.